Hello and welcome to Afis Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afis Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. You want to shock your people to death. Obasanjo tackles Tinubu over economic hardship. And now to the main news. Olusegun Obasanjo has tackled President Walat Hamed Tinubu's administration over economic hardship in Nigeria. The former Nigerian president alleged that Tinubu is operating tired old recipes from the IMF and World Cup. Obasanjo asked if President Tinubu's administration wanted to shock Nigerians to death with his economic policies. Ladies NG journalist Adekunle Dada has over five years of experience covering metro and government policies. Former President Olusha Gambasaja has accused President Bola Hamed Tinubu's administration of following tired old recipes from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and World Bank. Obasanjo said the recipe called structural adjustment is not needed because Nigeria has no structure. He said, structural adjustment, that term is loathed in Nigeria and much of Africa where it is associated with foreign imposed austerity. What are we adjusting when we have no structure? As reported by the Financial Times, Alpan Shazer asked if Sinobu wanted to shock Nigerians to death. You say it is shock therapy, says Obasanjo, who is extremely critical about both the logic and execution of Sinobu's program. What is the shock? You want to shock your people to death. The former president questions the decision of Tinubu's government to devalue the Naira given how many manufacturers need to import the bulk of their inputs, negating the positive impact of a weak Naira. What is the purpose of devaluing your currency? Is it to sell more of the oil that we have? Obasanjo added that not everyone is convinced that the return to monetary and fiscal orthodoxy, even if it can be maintained, will be enough. Obasanjo facilitated that with Mrs. Tinobu on the celebration of Hid Ada, also known as the Feast of Sacrifice. Members of the Nigerian Senate said Tinobu's government also cannot take people for granted for too long. The federal lawmaker said it was time that the government take every possible action to address the crisis. You see, at this point, eh? It, he has already even shocked us to death. Like, have you seen the price of things in the market? Yam. Like, you you can't just go to the market and say, oh, I want to buy yam. You, they'll be calling 5,000 naira, 6,000 naira for you. For a small, one small piece of yam. At this point, he is shocking us to death because, I don't know, they want to kill us at this point. The, the, the he choke. The country is hard. Someone in the comment section says, This whole failure started when OBJ led by some little short-minded crooks, sold off our, all our critical infrastructures, and invited some few companies as chariots who further inflated our economic ratio with their policies of foreign exchange in our indigenous land and corrupted our political structure into believing only dollars can flourish our economy. Hmm. Well, you see, all the presidents that we've had from the past, all of them have been bad. But just like it's growing from bad to worse, from bad to worse, from bad to worse. And the cycle keeps going on like that. I don't know. It's only God that can help us at this time because I don't think these people are really interested in us. It's because it's now affecting them as well. And it's not like it's really affecting them like that. These people, they still have money compared to to an average Nigerian citizen. Even a, a basic salary for civil servants is 30,000 naira. What can 30,000 naira buy? 
how much is house rent now in, in in Nigeria? How much is fuel? How much is food to get to pay school fees and all? How are people surviving? We are already shocked. To we are already shocked. It's already choking us. Please, they should help us. They should help us talk to them to, to, to assist us. We don't have any structure. So there's nothing they are trying to rearrange. My listeners, what do you think? Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. And do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening to us. See you some other time.